Worse, don't worry. Either Can way. Astralis find success here on Inferno? They look stone cold back on overpass. Yeah. They were at least good in these pistol rounds. And so if that can stay true to Astralis now, they could hit the ground running here to open up their map pick. Double porch side set up oh, though, and Zai Wu's taking heads off. He's on for the ace. Not gonna get it. Lucky will remove him. But oh boy, the That's... big boy of Zai Wu immediately throwing down the gauntlet to open up this pistol round. Vitality, it's them finding their first pistol in this series. That's a statement right there, my dear God. That last series ended with team kills. They start with Zai Wu nearly killing everyone. Astralis, gotta keep their heads in the game because I was ripping them off. Four frags in middle, that's just unbelievable. He wanted more. He really wanted more. But I, I think you, I think you take four. Last two BO3 series, these two teams took each other on. Astralis managed to close both of them with Inferno pretty one-sidedly in both those matches as well. Prior to that, Vitality have won on this map before. It's been a while. And Astralis, they played it twice in Pro League, both of which, you know, against lesser competition in Spirit and Bad News Bears. Both of those games, dominant wins for Astralis. So really got to whip out everything they've got in this one, especially after that pistol round. Vitality looking to start strong. Like you say, Astralis have had pistols. They went 3-0 up and 5-0 up in the first halves of Overpass, and that helped them not. Oh, oh, oh lovely Deeg. Maybe they can flip the script, win this force by her. Huh? Oh, it's a bit of a hope and a prayer for Masuta, but he does get out of there does live to fight another day at this B-bomb site, and that's big. Astralis grouping up in top middle, looking for this A play by the looks of things. They've got the utility to get themselves out of the apartments or to wrap around over here on the long side. They have dealt with that first man, but Zai Wu is going to keep trading the way to success. Yes, Dupree's Deagle will find him. And now Kyojin dead in the water as well. Dupree opening up this round on the Deagle in a very big way from a three-on-three three to a 3v1 in the blink of an eye. And it's Dupree's Deagle to get Astralis there. They've stolen this one with the force by just Masuta all the way from Banana. Rooted around towards Long. And he might just be left saving here. This MP9 out of the round. Astralis, there's the reply. Damn, and quite a reply it is. Already Inferno looking a lot better. And Dupree, yeah, we needed another guy to step up, right? Glaive was that first man in Astralis back on overpass, but it kind of fell on dead ears and Dupree looked fine. He had a, a few opening kills on those T sides, but Astralis just couldn't close gun rounds. Well, now they're going to manage to. Or at least a force spike. That will do. Deeg from Majiska and the double from Dupree. Lovely sight indeed. Is this something you can repeat? Is this something you can keep up? Because you know Vitality are going to be forcing back into round three. They won't be giving you much room. Not satisfied with two. Who doesn't want more? AK's out though, Astralis are well armed and that can't be said for Vitality in this position. Flash ready at the B site. Two players pushing down with him, but the smoke has locked Bubsky out anyway. Masuta goes up and over. Looked incredible back on that last map. They know he's close. Maybe will go in. Molotov as well with deeper. At least keeps Masuta trapped up. Down by the tree, and they know it. There is not a second of doubt here. Astralis waiting for a player to come in with a Molotov to clear him out. Flash. Oh, Masuta needs it. Goes through, and he somehow escapes. Can't tell you how. Now thrown up on this boost peak and over the top of the half ball, and there's Masuta getting rewarded. Glaive on the receiving end of that boost. Reflash as well to try and send Apex in for a peek here. It's flashed over, blinding the players at Banana, but they weren't up yet. They weren't past that half wall, so Apex does not get a chance. 
to extend this advantage even further. Rotate. He will, however, call for the rotation of Zai Wu, moving him away from A and towards this B bomb site. But because Dupree's been holding on to the apartments, Astralis, they've got options open. They're going to go back into a late A play here. Two players for Vitality, both down in the pit, running this crossfire. Kyojin and Shoxi going to have to hold on. 15 seconds. Will time be the problem Ooh. again for Astralis? One of these Deegs oh. open. Shoxi's Deagle drops the bomb. Kyojin's nail do free, and time is the least of their worries. This Deeg tearing through them. Vitality is straight back in with a reply. The double hold A, a two on four in that push. Kyojin and Shox make it look easy. Yeah, just a couple of kills each, right? Just uh, go kill, no problem. And wow, and they were not set up for that at all. You know, obviously, Double Pits lovely got those headshot angles, but Strata had smokes in, they had that lurk out of apartments. I don't know how Kyojin dealt with Dupree so quickly. Shox with the starters. Look at this one. Oh, through the wall. Damn. Got to get excited about that. Vitality, flip it again. Uh, Force by Wars, keep on rolling. Never stopping through the Molotovs and up and past them. Glaive will decide to give it up. Keep that AK in good standing. Masuta check left, and he will. Just about spray down through the smoke molly combo, but you're fine with a five on four. You are alone, but full belt to util to make sure Astralis cannot commit. And even if they do, there's another man coming back. Masuta will call for him. Apex is here. You can always play those flash peaks, but. Why give your opponent weapons? Ooh, Apex just takes a drive fight and it works wonders. One by one, Astralis start to falter in this round and never like to lose the force by wars, but someone's got to eventually. Maybe Glaive can keep them rolling on. No flash to get you in though, and you've got to respect that smoke. to the drawing board here. You know, the banana take has not gone well. Gonna look for results over here at A again. They weren't able to get in in a four on two last time. This time it's a three on three. A timing is good from Zai Wu, just chipping these players down even lower. Jiggle in this long corner, he's gonna spot the smoke. Now he knows the nature of this round. The A play coming through again, a late long wrap for Astralis. Glaive can't find a thing with that AK. Kyojin down in the pit. Once more, trying to have his way with Astralis. Dupree. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Flying Zaiwu. All right. And Lucky left ah. saving. Might not even get away with the AK. He's bored to his knees. Hey, Kyojin's so hungry. Like, oh, yeah, gets the AKs. He he sees that long player. He's tapping him from the pit with a with a angle. It's very favorable. He's got the AK. It's lovely. And then even though he's getting fought from long, he still swings out wide, checks up, looks at Balcony. He's got two teammates on the site, mate. They've got cover. Even though the smoke came down, didn't stop Zaiwu. Jumps over the double box. And even there, just jumping to Boiler as well, right at the end, sets his teammate up to take down Lucky with a rifle. Wow. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Whatever it is, it's a pain. I don't mean bread, but Vitality have got it. All the money, uh, none for Astralis, just pistols. This is a nice little idea. I like that. At two different angles, makes it a real nuisance to peek into. And it's only Glocks here. So it should be that clean 4-1 lead. <laughs> Apex just padding his stats, him and Masuta holding on to Banana. And Apex is on for the ace, but of course, we never get aces. Zai Wu going to grab the last one. There it is, 4-1 lead as promised. It's clean, five alive. And now that investment's coming in for the Astralis squad. We're not going to have an AWP in play. I'm really curious to see. You know, I'm, I'm imagining Lucky's going to lean away from it a good bit. Right, T-side AWP is very, very tricky on this map. Yeah, I don't think Vitality are going to give you many options. Not the kind of team that are often like running down mid or you know making those risky apps peaks from Boiler. So options for an all par, you know, you, you do have to be at the front. You do have to be taking those long peaks or waiting till your team get into B and posting up a new box. Astralis 
Moving up banana. I'd like to see a full exit here, but so would Vitality because they've got three CTs in position. Still ho uh, owning long as well means they won't be moving Zaiwu here and going anywhere but up. And he's already on top of the boost. Masuta taking first. They don't know about Zaiwu yet. Masuta's just buying time, baiting them in. Zaiwu fights and he drops off eventually as Apex goes through. He gets another one and a half for Apex Molly to stop the plant and maybe even a reboost. It's a blue plant at least, but now Dupree back in banana can't do anything about a defuse. The nade might finish off or do significant damage, and Dupree's got to somehow get involved. Yeah, du Dupree needs to be taking fights, sadly, right? He can't play the post plant. Oh my god, he's burned down a 3 HP by running into the Molotov. No. Lucky he's got to do it all. New boy on the block, AK oh. out, and Shox is going to get the better of him. Oh, this is a fresh vitality right here. I was a little worried coming into Inferno. It's a classic Astralis map. It's one that, you know, even if you take away the, the device, the zips from this team, you still have the core. You still have the, the brain power, those rotates, those reads, that utility. Vitality, despite all of that, putting on a masterclass right now. Triple B set up. Holding strong, Apex running through yeah, smokes. He I, always does that. It's nothing new. Well, you know, also it makes a lot of sense yeah, there because sure. they've they've seen two players, right? They've seen Masuta and Zaiwu, and so they're kind of discounting the idea of a third. Even if you're anticipating Apex there because he's so often over towards the B site, you're not expecting him to just hail Mary smoke push you. It, it, it's great, you know. He just takes the element of surprise while he knows he's got it. Oh, little flash peek. Hello, oh, that's, that's a way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. that's cool. Bye bye, Dupree. Thanks for playing. Oh, bro, we're getting a Zaiwoo game here. Like, yeah. He hasn't had one where he just completely starts owning the, the, the course, but this is very much yeah. looking like a Too more smoke. classic Zaiwoo affair. Well, we, I was going to say that. You know, We just saw him laughing on the cams there with Apex, you know, because they were playing this little one-two punch at that B site. And, you know, it's really nice to see Zaiwoo, you know, smiling, having fun with it as well. I feel like he did have a bit of a slower start to the start of the year. Mate. And this the second half of it is, is turning out really yeah. well for Zaiwoo. Post-player break yeah, Zaiwoo, exactly. right? Post player break yeah he's looked really good vitality look like they're having fun there were a lot of questions on this team coming into the group but they seem to be answering them well can i just say already you know i don't want to make us relive all the financial talk of overpass uh, but mate look at the cash already say? bro 10 grand on shocks 10 grand on apex three. and zywoo like you're, you're already set for this ct side they did the same flash peak as well and to boiler dupree was ready this time they oh. dodged the flash lucky does have the orp in play right he's bringing that out here and now uh -oh. Bobsky, agent Bobsky, 007 gets his first in the game now it's masuta oh. On the receiving end, a little dribble nade coming uh -oh. his way. Uh oh, get out. They really want to use the utility to get this trade, but Bubsky will dodge it for the time being. The Ooh. boost is good, and just like that, the B bomb site is open for business. Okay. They're peaking Lucky's yeah. Orb. They need to take risks here, right? They've lost B entirely, so they were trying to do what they can with the fights they're being offered in middle. But now it is just shocks. 1v4 and Dupree has cleared the A-bomb site. Yeah, this is a good uh, little move for Astralis. They don't even need to commit. I know it's a 4 on one You probably feel like nothing could possibly go wrong. But why even give that option away? Send a lurker to each bomb site. Whoever uncovers the terrible truth where you can go elsewhere. No one's found shocks yet. They don't actually know. But Dupree win pit is enough of a reason to commit. And so Lucky drops out of apps with a bomb. And at this point, do they even want to hunt down shocks? They know the money's bulging for vitality. You ain't hunting anything yeah, here, you're checking mate. everything. You've got a. It's more important here to like establish your own money, right? And four alive would would start to have you building the foundations of a T side economy. You have very little to gain from chasing this one surviving player, and so this will just be one of these rounds where you watch Shoxy hanging out, walking about, and nothing really is going to happen. But it's Astralis onto a second here. Good stuff. I mean, really, the round is won by Bobski and Majisk over towards that B bomb site, right? That's the whole reason Lucky gets away with the double kill in mid. That round would have shaped up very, very yeah. differently if that double kill didn't come in on the back of that late boost at top banana. Yeah, and you know, even though you can make the argument like, oh yeah, they're so far down, they need to be peaking. It's just like, Astralis are in no hurry in these T-side rounds, so you can always get your rotating yeah, rather than feed the beast. I don't know, man. I, I, I look at I that as it. like right on because 
as far as you're aware, you actually don't have the info whether or not they're in B, but they just got two kills, mate. You're imagining that they're just going to pick up the pace. Yeah. And so, like, you're looking down mid, you're going, well, look, this AWP's giving us a fight. Let's try get him, because if you get that suddenly, you know, you're back into, like, a three-on-three. Yeah. Three. It's it's winnable, three-on-four, rather. And, hey, on the bright side, you know, we were wondering if Lucky would be able to find the value with this AWP. Well, he has already, so I was going to meet him, though, and luckily, no deaths for Estrada as they dodged death. Down middle with a run boost. Sai Wu, when he switch up sights now, often is the case, you fire a shot on A and now you yeah. swap sides with Apex, but he might need the reinforcement. He might need to call his in-game leader back. Yep, following in his tracks, double, triple setup on B, and now the commit for Astralis. Yeah, the triple rotates a oh. little late, but still, what? They all get a kill a piece. Double smoke Astralis shots. now learn, like, oh my God, there's three here, but the bomb is in no man's land. Lucky will just about grab that back. And he's going to get out of there like a bandit. Dupree trying to create space in this A bomb site, but he's Ooh. spotted, and that is a lovely shot from okay. Shoxy. We're getting more out of Shox today. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think he's heard the rumblings of us all saying, yeah, Shox isn't a mad fragger like he was. Oh, 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 that was a surprise oh. knife. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky of fixing the bayonet to the end of his orb. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been spooky if you, yeah. <laughs> you hear it. Like, oh my god, he's here. I've just been stabbed. Yeah, you're, that's just that's just like you know, <laughs> that's just like the the spamming. Everyone does it. You know, the the press inspect, the QQ, the quick switch, the clicks, all that, just out of panic. And he gets a little tag, but it's still shocks being the hero of the round. <laughs> it's so weird. Unlucky for lucky, and it's vitality. Up to 7-2 right now. Money is still out of control. Astralis need to break through. They need to win another round. Otherwise, they're back to pistols themselves. And hey, Triple B still here. Yeah, this Triple B's been stellar. You know, no other word for it. It feels like the timing's oh, on it has oh. always been good. Double nade will find Zai Wu. Flash to set up Masuma, no, and he's making on. a big boy play. No. Extinguishes the molly, peeks with the flash, and has regained the four on four. I cannot understate how much impact Masuta has already had to open up this map. He was very much the shining star back on overpass. He was someone that you had to pay attention to. Don't get me wrong, Zaiwu's 14 and 5. Like he might be top of the board, but Masuta is is 5 and 1 in opening duels and he's getting these like high impact trade kills down towards Banana. Now He's all alone over at B, oh, while the nice. real bulk of this push is coming in at the A bomb site. Lucky with a double has opened it up. Apex is the nasty surprise. Still left here, still holding on. And Masuta now rotating away from B. Well, that's opened up a path for Astralis to move into yeah. an uncontested B bomb site. That's a good call. The bomb was like loose in middle. So you get a, you get a couple of quick kills in A, and suddenly, you know, you realize B's just going to be clear. I am a little bit concerned because they're still waiting. To they're find still him waiting, out. and eventually yeah. that bomb's going to pick us up. That's fine. That's going to go B. Yeah, I mean, even but if he it... could get caught crossing. They do have the smoke on Dupree, so uh, it's fine. I'm actually. not worried yet. I'm not it's worried. fine. Smokes on both players at B, so we can get across. But Masuta, if there were a man for the clutch, you've been hyping him up, hyping him up, opening uh, kills. Now he needs to close one. One B three. He's got the kit. Can hang around. It's a nice open plant. It's not for banana, which is where the orb is coming from later. If Masuta somehow manages to mangle his way through these first two men, uh, Lucky's going to be in very hot water to clutch this round out. Masuta is do doing a delayed retake here. The later he goes, the least they expect it. Bro, he is going to try get cheeky yeah, with this. He like really this. is. Like, they're anticipating the save. Oh, my goodness. Is he going to try and then to defuse this? Oh, Bobsky. he's out too soon. Bobski waiting, but now Bobski's dead. Oh, he could have stopped Yeah, it. no time. Yeah, Dupree's no. coming back. It's all good. Astralis get this third. Masuta takes one to the grave with him and gets out of there, yeah. saving the AK. He was a little far from the bomb, and the time was very, very low. Bobski, good awareness, though. Hanging around for the ninja defused. Even though he dies, he just stops the chance of that happening. Yeah, you got a, you got Zywo with Warp and Sandbags. It's a shame to see that. This was a great play from Masuta. And also Lucky, like let's just talk about him quickly. He's finding these massive impact openers. Look at these kills into A. Three frags in the round to actually get things going. Clears Apex as well on the trade. So yeah, great stuff out of Lucky, even though it ended back yeah. on B. Any Lucky doubters? 
Getting silence right about now yeah. as he's topping the charts. All right, I didn't expect to see much of this, but Shox has had enough of waiting around, and Lucky's missed his shot. He needs to make the call. They've got to turn back. Zaiwu's taken one down mid with the orb. Shox has cover from Alt, and he's trying to take down these banana players. Even one would do, and he can only get damage. Molly Burns oh. and Apex, good reaction to finish off what Shox started. This is like, uh, this is it's just so weird. Look at the scoreboard. Glaive and Bubsky combined are one in, one in 20. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I believe oh. Suta. Just lucky left. And, you know, we're saying like, yeah, he's been good. He has been good. He's been the only player in double digits for Astralis. The only guy to make us believe, really. But this 1v4. I don't know, not destined to happen. Him and Masuta clash, and Vitality are up onto eight. Masuta at B has just been a treat to watch, and I think yeah. the support system of Apex, what he actually brings to the table is, is invaluable. This B bomb site is terrifying, yes. and it's even more scary considering Apex's calls at bringing Zaiwu over a felt. opening map but we were worrying about him because he was just getting destroyed near the end of that T side and it wasn't even really down to him it was just Saiwu pushing mid and taking names and well Glaive looks a little bit shattered here at the start of Inferno so yeah. it doesn't reflect in the calling I mean mate, it, it must just take it out of you right like you're you're kind of giving it everything you've got back on that last map right you're having a frag you're having a lead you're having to direct the flow and even then it doesn't feel like you're doing enough right so and now to come into this one, as you say, on such a stone cold start, like it's going to be a real test of Glaive's mental game to dig himself out of this hole. Yeah. For the first time, they're going B, and there's only two here. And in fact, that two might be one sooner than later. Apex is very far back. Yeah, he does have this flash, though, and Apex is keen with oh. the flashes. Masuta drops the bomb to open it. He's going to throw a molly in ahead of the flashbang. So Masuta is very much fighting solo for the oh. time being. Apex with the spray, yeah, I thought it was going to come in. I thought that was the idea behind it. There's a gnarly pop flash you can throw from T spot, sorry, CT spawn back where Apex oh, was. Hit that. Four on four. Bomb's not down yet. It's not going down anytime soon. Apex oh. drops it out in the open. A three on three, Astralis, they're keeping it scrappy. And whenever Vitality take a head, oh, Astralis will respond. But now the bomb cut loose at Coffins. And Lucky just getting silenced by Shoxy. It's nine to three. The dominance carrying over from Overpass. Every time they dropped that bomb, it got further and further into ruins, deeper and deeper towards the Vitality defense. Oh, Astralis can't catch a break. Orbs just tearing through them at CT, even though there was only one man in the site, Masuti gets that opening kill. And again, like the opening kill, he drops the bomb. So, you know, if there were any doubt that, oh, is this a commitment? Is this five? Yes, it is. You know, the first frag is the bomb. And like, even though it is a commitment, yeah. that doesn't really matter. It just means Vitality have that extra maybe two seconds of a rotation. They're all there. No can allowed, no chance. And now Astralis, are they going to continue to just pop through smokes into this A site? Yeah, here they come. Trying to get a bit wild with it, trying to keep it scrappy. Pixel, little angle from Zaiwu, and now he sets his teammate up at long. Flash out. Oh, Zaiwu, the complete package. He'll get a kill, and then he'll set you up for one yourself. Oh, it's a, it is a massacre. Shox is hunting Bobski down, but Zaiwu's going to beat him to the punch. Oh. 10 to 3, and this is looking done, man. I, I hate yeah. calling games. Like, you know, we're still in the first half, but... Vitality are looking so fired up. They are giving this all they've got. The synergy is perfect. They're reading everything well. They're playing off of each other exceptionally. And for Astralis, mate, like you still have players down with, you know, zero kills to their name up until uh, yeah. 
You know, like, Glaive. Hill. Glaive got into spawn that round, man, and, and no one knew. Like they did the flash play on long for I think it was shocks. He never saw Glaive on long. He never saw him oh, get into CT. Glaive. And then that happens. That's how your round starts. But yeah, when he was in CT, I mean, there was no call that, oh yeah, they were CT. And Vitality still are aware. They still take him down before he goes anywhere. And his head removed. 0 and 13. 10 3 down. Dupree will provide a deagle. Remember those two 1 deeks out of apps in round number two? That was one of the last times Astralis had anything to be happy with. Well, Dupree back on the board, but. Three of his four kills yeah. are from the deagles, mate. It, like... Is it too late? This is just a massacre. And, and once again, like Zywu might be topping the charts today, and he, and he really might be coming alive in these A players. But but for me, the the, the golden member here is Masuta and some yeah. of the openings he's been able to get. He has just been a menace at this B site. And, and it's felt like B is just off the cards entirely for yeah. Astralis. And, and that really restricts, you know, your ability to, to game the system at all here. So we were in shock, see those side by side. This could be a deadly duo. I mean, we certainly know what it can provide. And Shox gets one. Zaiwu now sees the split and he manages to drop the bomb right down out of apps. Can't hit the second shot, but can just give it up. Wait for his team, play the retake. This is the closest Astralis have had to a round in a while. And they have one gun to do it. Majiska's got to do the heavy lifting. Lucky's looking for an upgrade. Yoink. Apex, we saw his orping yesterday. They're holding for the boiler up. So often this gets away with more than it should. And well, Lucky will deliver the first. Not oh. able to follow up, however. So Magisk, all eyes on you, my friend. Down in the pit, 1v2. One up short, one through long. And Magisk is there for the first, but he can't convert the spray. Who is it? Masuta, the guy to close it in the 1v1. The trade king, the opening king. He does it all, 11-3 and... We are on our way to a crazy dominant victory for Vitality. You know, while, while the scoreline of Overpass Red 16-9, I think it was a far more dominant affair than the scoreline really lets on. Here on Inferno, we're looking to get one that's a lot more representative of how one-sided this game has been. Yeah, even though I was, uh, you know, 21 and 6. a sight to behold but unfortunately it's just not enough to win rounds at this point in the game right up mid lucky throwing himself into the action getting involved deep mid smoke no worry well, control take it but don't be surprised if you see a flashback in astralis won't be they're ready for it as well util set is there the retake utility not going to use it for anything more than dropping more grenades and finding more damage. Apex probably won't hang around forever. And if he does, it will be at the hands of a flash that Masuta can throw over or vice versa. Boost up will do. Anchor that B-bomb site and wait to see if they execute. They won't. Two guys up top B for now. Astralis is still defaulting in middle. And so essentially, you're left with a choice. Do you go into this horrific B-hold that has been churning you up? Or do you go into Zaiwu at A? What would you pick? Um, you know, it's kind of like, would I rather burn or freeze to death? I'm dying <laughs> either way, and they both kind of suck. So, uh, yeah, you would know. Would you rather burn or freeze to death? <sighs> freeze, I guess, because yeah. it's kind of like a nice sleep. Well, that's what death is. I wouldn't call it nice, though. Stralis. There's no mollies to burn them, at least. And they can't freeze any longer. 20 seconds, they've got to go. Yeah, Dupree's going to try and cut off rotations, but this relies on the B play actually getting into the site. Apex is dead. Okay. Masuta is followed nice. up onto, and Dupree does cut down the rotates. Vitality, you may as well give this a look in, right? Masuta is loaded with cash. You can give this a little look in. Here we are. <laughs> a 
Oh, yeah, wait, and it's round 15. Of yeah, course, buddy. this has been such a fast game, mate. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. They're on for the two. Oh, now 1v5 retake. It's not going to happen. So first kill. back versus an in-form vitality yeah frenchman looking to make these danes extinct frozen where they stand in the ice bit of a smoke in mid bit of a slow down here but dupree doesn't know just how many players have walked through the apartments flash gets thrown from through the smoke and apex with a tap to begin everything well begin maybe to end it the bomb's already getting planted for crying out loud you don't have a kick currently Jojen will fall. That will start the retake off, at least four on four. You've got some nades to make things weird. But I don't even know how you're supposed to win this. Glaive's running back to throw a moto smoke or, or a pit smoke of some sort. Astralis is trying to move in as a pack. All right, Glaive. 
All right, lad. One kill deep at the end of that first half. Well, he's opened up with two now. Clay coming in, oh. coming through, but he gets silenced by Zywo, <laughs> and they're Woo! trying to knife Popsky. Masuta, you cheeky devil. Zaiwu oh. actually shows a bit of respect to his opponent and is like, don't worry, I got you. I'm not going to let Masuta knife you. That's a shame, really. That's a shame. That's Zaiwu playing for KD. But uh, no, I, you would have loved to see a knife kill. Maybe, that was uh, just that honorable, yeah. right? Like, Maybe a bit, yeah. A bit sad for Spalas. Maybe a bit off-putting. Damn. Replay sounds cool, but... Uh, Look at this, Hugo. Four spy up for Astralis. You know, I think they have come to terms with this one as well. Yeah. Knowing that they have to win it here and now if they want to embark on this comeback. I mean, you don't want to lie to yourself. It's not pretty, it's not perfect. Winning this round could at least give you more room to breathe, but in losing it, you're just playing up against 14 with guns. One by to rule them all. Well, look, if there ever was a time that Zonic's saying had to come true about those 11 4 halves, <laughs> there ever was a time, oh, you go. It's bittersweet, Harry. It's bittersweet. Mm, mm, it is. More bitter than sweet. Leaves a tough taste in the mouth. Tough taste. Yeah. Very chewy. Chewy, yeah. Like a grape steak. It's cooked well done. What's a steak made out of grapes? Oh. It would be bitter How and do also you cook tough. Grapes, don't they explode? I feel like they explode. Yeah, they explode. Yeah, nice. But like the resulting paste, I imagine, is pretty chewy. Grape steak paste out soon. Right now, it's a, it's a gamble and it's a misread as well because as I woo, selling the fake. Watch him kill all four on the fake. Oh, bro, yeah. Or none. Or none. But it Secret doesn't matter. It's worked out. It's already kept them here. I think Astralis are realizing Bubs is going back, and so is Zaiwu. He doesn't want to give them a gun. Don't give them the chance. Don't give them the satisfaction as Masuta clears a corner through the smoke, and he recovers a spray apex, gives a helping hand, and that might be the end of the force. You were talking about some disturbance in the force, Harry. Well, avert your eyes. Spy wasn't pretty. Uh, this means that scoreline is going to be 14 to 4 when Astralis have their first rifle round fielded. They've got one chance, essentially, is what I'm trying to tell you all. They've got one chance to, uh, to try and build anything up here. Or else Vitality are off to the races, you know? Like, this is... Um, this must feel good for Vitality. Yeah, sure. Especially after, you know, they had to... I, I know we kind of felt like that last map was a stomp. They still had to work for it, man. Uh, you know, they still had to recover from two, you know, downward spiraling halves. That was a 6-1 lead for Astralis. The Vitality made 9-6 half. And then, you know, Astralis win the pistol. They convert. They get rid of the four spies. Easier said than done. And, and then Vitality win every rifle round once they get guns in that second half as well. So they had to work for that map, and here's the reward. Got a down tempo Astralis and a vitality that can do nothing wrong. And yeah, my heart kind of goes out to Lucky here. Like he's the the one guy we're looking to to, to really do anything. At least here on Inferno. Ooh, that's a nice opener from a disc steagle. Yeah. Zeus on Dupree in this round. He's up on Balk. Okay, dub dub. All right, son, let's get it with Don't the Zeus. Screamer. Yeah, but the uh, bomb is still back down. So who goes back? If it's the mid players, watch out for a B take, although that's a B fake. So I will, again, lobbing in util. He's found another smoke on the ground from Apex's body. Like he's very wide on this angle in order to not get blocked by the pallets. It means he could get caught on the corner, gets out safe. Glaive now, his time to shine. Deagles have been some of the only frags Astralis have found in this entire map. And it is that B take, that dreaded walk back down mid. Dupree, Zeus sees nothing in the four-man stack avoided. All right, Magisk, give us something. 
give us a D ground here. Come on, my son. The rotations are coming in. Astralis are moving everybody around. And the longer Vitality take, the longer the Deagles have. Glaive could even catch players lining up utility. Oh, there's one. Zai Wu on the receiving end of that. Now Majisk. Now we look at him. There's also a boost getting assembled here in CT. This is a stacked up B bomb site now. Majisk's Deagle doing damage, but it's lucky taking them out of the round. And oh, he's in with the fight. Shots having a turn on a dime. He's shooting at everything that oh moves. Goodness. And he's taken them all to the grave, out of ammo, onto the Glock. And finally, he's brought to a stop by Majisk. Shocks! That was a moment where he was very much kind of starting to believe in yeah, himself. If he after grabbed he that hits. Galil, man, yeah. if he grabbed that Galil or dropped his, maybe he'd get that fourth, but couldn't tap E on it in time and didn't have the time to play around. E button's better than it used to be, but not always bueno. Nice flank from Glaive. That was a big deep to hit. And he doesn't commit on the flank until right at the very end of the round. And, and that's important as well. Don't offer up a wave of vitality to turn around in 20 seconds and run back to A. You know they could. You know they would. And so no one can in that round. Big force by the win for Astralis. And like, who cares about the cost? Who cares about the kills that Shocks finds? Because nothing to lose, everything to gain. And for Zaiwu, they double up with the help of Apex. That's He's a little, dead, uh, but he died a hero. A little ugly as well. That they're all, you know, they get stuck yeah. on each other in the top of banana. Like these are very, Astralis just look a bit out of it. Yeah, can't blame them. No, exactly. Like they have been dealt a very, very rough hand here. These are not easy games to recover. But like, you know, even yeah. like blocking each other out at the top of banana while reloads are happening. Like that's not a, that's not a classic Astralis mistake. No. Uh oh, Kyojin. This was the best team to ever do it. So there we go. That's more like it. Dupree and Bobski both coming in with a killer piece. But now oh they're my. trying to rotate ahead of this one. They're taking gambles that maybe they don't need to take. Long control given up. Vitality are wrapping this A bomb site. And with Zywu and Shock still alive, there were two players you want in the clutch. Okay. You're looking at them right here. Yeah, they know they're behind Dupree as well. They know that he made this rotate. There's no way. Anything else happened here? No one's looking. Dupree just checks Banana. <gasps> Turns around, I out, and there's the kill. Now, are they ready for another man? They should be. Lucky's got the orb posted up, dropping the bomb, and now they need the trade, and they need it quick before Bubski comes in on the flank. So we're waiting. Kill not getting delivered. He's got a hunt for it. He's oh. found the shot. Safe plant. If he can get it in 15 seconds, Bubski, he's got a kit. He's got the nades. But has he got the round? So I will hear the footsteps as well. He's been given a little bit of time, that flash gives him a chance to reposition, but he's taking a fight here. He's not playing around the bomb. He's not like, look, I'm going to deny defuse. I'm going to win the fight. That's what Zai Wu says. Bobski oh. going over, going nice. up. And he does take him down in that head-to-head. -head. So a clutch going in favor of Astralis. A sigh of relief as they see that round through. Lovely. And considering the positions that were gained, considering how that was looking, like, don't get me wrong, Zai Wu hits a blinder, but good stuff that Astralis are able to see that one through to the end. Yeah, they're holding on by the skin of their teeth right there, right? Not just the deagle round that Shocks almost converts in the one on five, but right there. I like that bait jump from Bobski. Gets a lot of info, forces the shot. And, you know, Zywu's position is is good because, you know, it's it's so crazy that you just don't expect anyone to play that. But once if the info's there, Zywu just has to swing. He knows Bobski can, like, you know, pick his target. He can he can choose how he peeks around the pillar, which side. So Zywu kind of just has to take the fight. The position's given up. A shot for Lucky. The one consistent factor in this game, and so is Mizuta for Vitality. Takes that Deeg shot. They won't be able to get the orb out. But that has made a panic rotate happen. Astralis stacked up on A. And Vitality walking into the solo hold. It's Magisk with nades. He gets a smoke down at the perfect second, but they might still go through. Yeah, Magisk, you've got to hold on, bud. You've got to hold oh, on. And oh, no, that is not the opener you wanted. One taken with him to the grave. Not able to catch the players crossing is Glaive and won't be able to stop that bomb plant either. Apex sticks it. Damage exchanged either which way, but it's Dupree to break the silence with a kill onto Apex. Oh. There's the Deegan Masuka ringing in with one. Just Kyojin left now. The last man to try and quell. They haven't pinned, they haven't spotted. And Bobski will walk it over the line. Astralis up on a seven, Just trying to build something. 
does feel like Kyojin panics in, in those positions a lot. Like he's just had his teammate bait for him so well. Like he's six and twelve. I know it doesn't really matter, but you know, these are these are clutch rounds coming in for Astralis right now. They delay the defuse, get the orb. Like, you know, you need to be you need to be converting as many as you can if your vitality. This game's not done. Not yet. Uh, and Astralis is starting to pick up steam. Yeah, but he gets baited for really well there. He still he still goes back in with a kill. Don't know if he thinks they're grouping up and walking through CT, but yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, panic. the thing about Kyojin is, is I think that that's like an element that, that he's only going to get more comfortable yeah. with, right? Like, for this guy, he was brought into this team because he, he had a very, very clear showing of, like, incredible mechanical ability, yeah. right? And I think the nerves, the stresses of being on a Vitality squad competing at the top level, that stuff he's going to have to build up over time because mechanically, this guy has got mind-boggling aim. Oh, no, the volley. They think it's spread. They have no idea. That tick, they heard it. Now they know. Span through the wood, but just takes down Zaiwu, man. Almost got away with it. Four on five, mate. I'm not calling GG on this game just yet. Actually. Yeah. I think that, you know, it would have been easy if uh, Vitality converted their pistol win, but remember that four spy that came out? Or the third round, rather, for Astralis, the eco win. They've been building ever since. Three in a row. They've got the money to show for it. Well, not much left up, but... As long as they keep winning rounds, I'll be fine and dandy. Flash, will it get lucky or can he just take the blind timing shot? And there it is, Kyoji has gone. He might die a hero if they can get the trade, but Majisk catches him off guard for the boost up top. Flash is good, everyone's blind, and Majisk has had enough of this CT side. He just wants to end it, killing everyone. Eight rounds, five alive, and that's more like it for Astralis. Well, Salaki was the only star in the Astralis sky in that first half, right? But now, now we have a bit of a supporting cast emerging around him with Magisk starting to find his footing. These B players are going to get a lot harder with Bubski, you know, winning a couple of key clutch moments here and there and starting to establish himself in the server. Maybe there is still hope for Astralis. Glaive as well was down 0 and 13, now 5 and 16. I know those aren't like an incredible set of numbers, but hell, it's better than literally nothing. And if he can even, you know, start to right the ship a little bit, you know, you can never write off Astralis. Looking like an apps pop here for Vitality. And they play with the utility to try and get them out. Zaiwu going to underhand this flash, try to go with it. Oh, wow, Bob's going to out of nowhere. How's he get the quad tech nine out? We know he likes the taps, but Dupree likes to steal the ace. There's no complaints at this point in the game. You're just taking the rounds as they come through. And they're coming through. rounds tip back your way you remember what winning feels like you rebuild that confidence confidence being a very hard thing to quantify and it can make all the difference you know astralis won't weren't believing at all coming into this second half well they certainly are now yeah vitality did they get ahead of themselves a bit quiet, flash into the middle, and Apex hits a timing. He does get spotted, though, even though he gets round to CT. Majisk has been dispatched to watch for the wrap. If Apex can get in on the long side before that flank comes in, there's still hope. Popped out, Apps pursuit with the entry, and even though he falls, so does Dupree in the bomb site. Now only those B rotates. A man up on Vitality, a re-smoke would do it, and Majisk does get cut off with a gap to play with, a flash in the face. He holds his own, stays on the angle. And he can't get the kill. Shocks fires through. And now he just walks to end the round. Oh my goodness. Bye bye, Glaive. It's 14 found for Vitality.
Thank goodness for the streak of rounds that Astralis managed to get, right? They they did take clean ones. The last two Antiquos have been five alive. And they've still got everything they need. That's not going to hold them back. Against 14, you have room. Uh, yeah, a break in the momentum is is pretty huge for like the vitality mindset, right? Whenever you look at a lot of other, even like mainstream sports, right? They always talk about like these momentum breaks and how impactful they can be. Well, is that going to be the case of vitality? Or do Astralis get right back to it? Glaive taking some liberties, pushing down Banana, and he will oh. best Tai Woo. Oh, it's a little bit hot and heavy. They're trying to chase down this trade. Utility's done a lot of damage to Lucky and Dupree as well. So they need to get out of there with this five on four. And Astralis managed that at least. Glaive making a ballsy play, but reaping the reward has set Astralis up with the man advantage. Yeah, Magis is even leaning back B. Lucky's very low. One bullet would end this Orpa, but it goes both ways, doesn't it? Got to be careful with just peeking off the flash. Especially, Lucky just been hitting those flash timing shots on the CT side. Renade back in, just careful. This is not a commitment, although Vitality are trying to make it seem that way. Bringing the bomb back down to A. But Astralis have the numbers to just lean default and play 3-2. Where will this end up? You've still got Masuta lurking B. Are you going to try and get in through the spawn? That would cause problems for Astralis. The B players Ooh. can't move out of the bomb site at this point. They've just got to watch at range, watch CT. Magis's position needs to change right now unless he has cover. I hope Glaive's watching it because they know about this, this possibility. They know about the smoke. And Magis just can't see that deep. He gets pushed off the boost. They've got the info. Nice double swing. It just gets one, but he continues to spray. Now they're in. Now he has no ammo. He wasted it on dead air. Three on three. Bomb finally getting planted and Astralis coming back up in honor. Yeah, you can't rotate CT because of that position gained by Vitality, right, on the aggro. So now they've had to all group up and all look to come in through Banana. Lucky and Dupree were naded down early in the round, so Bobski feeling the bulk of the pressure. Oh and there's that first kill garnered. Apex gonna equalize and holding for the reswing from Bobski. It's just Lucky, and he's so low. He's gotta run away. He's gotta concede 15 yeah. to Vitality. That break in the momentum, that one round, it set Vitality up to start chaining them together again. Yeah, it's a big save. It's one of the three guns they're going to have, so he, he had to do it. He had to call that off, but... Oh, it's a sad round. I don't know what happened there. You know, Astralis just didn't make the... I, I know it didn't matter massively. Like, Magis still gets off the boost. He still gets a kill, but it, it felt like the, the arch smoke comes in and there's just no call on, hey, watch your... That might be all. Lucky's AWP needed to find impact more than ever in the early round here. Yeah, but he's not like set up to take any early peaks. Instead, he's taking a more passive approach over towards the short side at A. That's in spite of this triple B lean. The guy reinforcing the A-hold is Dupree with a Mag-7. So it's an AWP and a shotgun to try and hold on to A. The AWP already gone. Dupree, I don't think the Mag-7 is going to work from there. <laughs> it's a bit of a rough spot for it. He does at least now have Bobski in the sight to help him. But the, the beauty of this for Vitality now, with all the pressure Astralis are under, in a five-on-four so early out of the gate, you know you've shuffled this CT defense around. And so just holding, just waiting, only makes Astralis you know, potentially misread this, over-rotate, over-gamble. It is still looking to be the A commitment here, but with 50 seconds left, 
I imagine they might send Kyojin and Apex to work this banana control, trying to force Magisk away. He sees them coming, and that's going to trigger the rotation back towards B. This is beautiful for Vitality. They get that kill, and that has sold the B play. Look at this. Astralis are fully leaving A. They're fully departing the A-bomb site. Kyojin dies at B, and now the penny drops. Oh, no. We've been faked on. We've fallen for it. Dupree's up has reined in with a kill from the library, trying to silence Vitality one last time. The librarian in Dupree bought to his knees, and it's...